Hello students, welcome to NEC online classes. I am Nimisa Basumatari, course trainer of food and beverage services. We we'll continue with the third part of unit 4, process payment by credit card and other forms of bill settlement. And the lesson objective from this topic will be outline the procedures for handling other settlement transactions in the outlets. So, in our previous topic, we have already discussed about credit card settlement, debit card settlement and cash settlement. So, now we will discuss about all other procedures for handling transactions. So the topic handling payment during room account. So what is room account? Suppose if a guest who is staying at your hotel dine in the hotel restaurant or bar, he or she may not be willing to pay instantly but would request you to post his food bill to his room account. In that situation, as a service person, you have to follow some guidelines. First, you have to check the customer's identity, means you have to ask the identification of the guest. You can ask him for showing his room key or card or to mention his room number as a proof. Take customer sign on the check or bill. That means you have to ask the customer to sign on the bill or check and ask him also to write his room number. Third, verify the information with the customer or guest. That means you have to verify the information of the guest with the front office staff or you can check in the PMS that is property management system software where you will already have the details of the names of the guests staying in the hotel so thereby also you can verify the information next hand over all the bill to the cashier in case if the customer asks for the bill then give him a copy of the bill or immediately post the bill to the guest room account through the PMS software in which the bill will reflect during his checkout but ensure that you have to do it very soon remember you can always verify with front office department or through daily occupancy report sent by the front office department and also through your PMS software. So now we will discuss bill to account and many of my students have already asked me to share or do some discussions on this topic that is bill to account or bill to company or bill to travel agent so here we will do a quick discussion so bill to account it is a credit line facility given only to pre-authorized guest pre-authorized guest means guest who is already have it, having a tie up with the hotel or maybe he is a frequent guest to whom we will give some type of facility that facility is credit line facility now that may be individual also or company who is having a tie up with the hotel so it is a pre-authorized account that allows guests to have their charges processed on regular billing cycle so and finally the charges the bill are taken at a regular billing cycle which will be posted in monthly basis or yearly basis same if i will tell you bill to company then it is a company account 
bill to account may be an individual account bill to travel agent may be that will be a travel agent account may be airline account like make my trip i hope it is clear so there are some information which is required to collect from the guest during filling up this bill to account now what are this name of the guest identification card number account name his details contact number date of the arrival time of the arrival then date of the departure or time of the departure signature of the guest and if there is any remark so now we have already understood what is bill to account or bill to company so there are some strict guidelines when handling this type of preauthorized account so double check all billing instructions on the pms before billing the guest so or present the guest all the posted folios for verification take his or her signature if required if guest ask a copy then always provide a duplicate copy and remember never to give supporting guest check or voucher if the company is paying for these charges same for bill to travel agent when you are handling with bill to travel agent you must ensure to attach all the support of document that the guest may have given by the travel agency or during the check in by the front office department correctly check all the entitlement on the voucher given by the guest as for reconfirmation and also double check this billing instruction in your pms software So we have come to end of part 3. Thank you for watching and soon I will upload the part 